Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, behind me, we've got a beautiful 2023 Newmar Superstar 4065. The 4065 floor plan is a bunk bed model. So for anybody that's interested in a nice brand new Super, Super C motorhome um, with the bunk beds, this one here has got it. Uh, Remy decor is the interior decor package. The exterior, this one's called Remy, ex the Remy exterior. And when we get on the inside, you'll notice the glacier glazed maple matte finish cabinets. Uh, I want to go over some things unique to Newmar. Um, so come on, come over here and we'll kind of start around on the, the front cab here. So one thing that's unique with Newmar, they keep the air ride cab on the M2106. That is what this is built on. It's a Freightliner M2106, 8.9 liter, 360 horsepower Cummins diesel engine. <clears throat> That's what the power powertrain is and um, what well, was six speed Allison powertrain transmission. Um, I keep the air ride cab here. So the house is all independent from the actual cab. Makes it a really smooth ride um, going down the highway. Uh, really easy to get around in and, and quiet going down the road as well. Some other things unique, um, just things I like to point out here. You notice we got a door here on the fuel system. So we got a hundred and <clears throat> we got a hundred gallon fuel fuel system. You have a 50 gallon tank on this side and a 50 gallon tank on the other side. You'll notice we got an actual door here so we can lock that up, keep people out of our our, our fuel systems. Um, and then on the other side is where the def tank is. I'll show you that when we get to the other side. <clears throat> um, you'll notice right here we got a little bullet camera. So we do have side cameras as well as if you get a shot up here, Jody, we've got the camera, the 360 camera view. So there's cameras on the front, rear, sides, and your blind spot cameras. This does give you kind of that bird's eye view image on the 10 inch monitor on the dash. When we get inside, we'll show you that as well. All right, moving down the side here, some things unique also to Newmar. Just want to point something out to you here. We've got flush, flush mounted slide outs. If you notice, they're not overlapping the sidewall here. So these are a cog wheel system. So the cog wheel is an electric, kind of like a cog train a wheel, solid steel wheel with a steel bar that runs under, back underneath these, underneath here. You may be able to get a shot. If you look up underneath here, Jody, I try to point at it there. There's a cog wheel system. That's, this is what operates that slide out. That pulls the slide in nice and tight. And it runs, when you run these slides, you run them around all the way in and all the way out. So the seals are tight when they're out and the seals are tight when they're in. <clears throat> also, in this compartment, since we're in this, this compartment here, you'll notice we've got a little switch here, an auxiliary air switch. So what that's for, you can actually, there's a separate, uh, there, there's a system there where you can actually add air to the ping tank. So if, for those that want to put air these are air ride seats. Let's say the driver has the keys, so you'll get out of the way. The keys in their hand, you can actually air that up, raise and lower the seats so you can still swivel them around to join the living room. And being a Super C motorhome, since we're right here at the door, you can see how easy it is to get in and out. Just to crawl in the cab. And when you pull into your fuel stops, um, Makes it a nice getting in and out from the driver and the passenger side. Plus you do have the main entrance door as well. Okay, another new feature with Newmar. Uh, we do have some new seals. So for 2023, uh, it makes opening and closing these doors with ease. Okay, now we've got some more storage here. 
Um, also, if you look underneath here, it's something I want to point out. If you notice the thickness of the floor, we've got a two inch thick subfloor. What's that do? That insulates this room. So this, this, this storage bay right here is nice and well insulated. Something to point out. It's just little things that Newmar does. And then we've got the hydraulic step. So if I close this door, you notice how that deploys. You got a nice little gradual entrance into the motorhome. You got kind of even steps as you're going in and out of the motorhome. So it makes it a nice gradual step coming out and going in. All right. You'll notice here we've got the nice decorative entrance handle with the keypad and a doorbell. Kind of like it being at home. You actually have a doorbell here and then you can actually use a key lock system here. Set your code to lock and unlock the entrance door as well as all your compartment doors. More storage. That's the inner back, central back hoses that come with the unit. Um, great storage. We're on the patio side. We've got the patio awnings out. These have the Gerard Nova awnings, uh, which have a, give you a nice pitch right in the middle. Gives you some nice shade out here. The sun's probably at the wrong angle for good shade right at the moment, but very nice awnings. We got a two stage door here, so this will stop about midway up, help it all the way up. At the outside entertainment, we got a 43 inch Samsung LED smart television with a Bose soundbar. You can Bluetooth to that soundbar if you want to play your own tunes outside. It's got a nice little sound to it. And then also, you can pull this out and angle it, get the glare off of it, doing any kind of tailgating or other events. All right, so now this this is a this is going to be just a, a park LED parking light, and then I didn't mention this, but since we're back here on the axle here, we've got uh, a the wheel base from this axle to the front axle is 345 wheel base, and then the weights so. The weight, the gross vehicle weight rating for this is going to be 41,200 pounds. You've got an approximately 7,200 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, which puts this one at about approximately 34,000 pounds empty. All right, another thing unique to Newmar, pass-through storage. You don't see it too often on a Super C motorhome, but this goes all the way through. Stay right there. I'll open this up on the other side. So you can see where you have full pass-through storage. And this does have a slide tray. It goes about three quarters of the way across. Nice for hauling extra gear. You can see where the central vac's located in this room compartment. And then on the back, there's a release handle right here. I'm going to pull this handle, and it's going to deploy the rear compartment. So this goes all the way across that pass-through storage. Fishing poles, small set of golf clubs, paddle boards, any other out of tables folding chairs, anything you can fit in there. It's great storage. Plus you have some nice little shelving here for additional storage as well. Another thing I'll mention too, um, so in the hot summer, you're gonna be running the air conditioners like it is right now. But on top, things you can't see, uh, Numar has integrated a roof system, a uh, roof gutter system on it. So the gutters run through through the walls and down. They don't 
you don't get any water dripping down the exterior of the coach for any kind of water runoff, especially if it rains too. It will collect that water. So you'll have them on the, the rear corners. Of course, on the, the front corners of the coach, you have those, there's, and then there's actually a gutter system, integrated gutter system that runs on the roof line that you cannot see. Um, let me flip this switch on here. So you do have, it's bright outside, so you can't really tell, but you do have some nice bright LED lights in the rear. You need to get some light access back here in the back area. You do have some bright LED lights here as well. 20,000 pound hitch. So you can tow up to 20,000 pounds with the M2 106, 360 horsepower. Uh, additionally, you have seven way brake controller systems already pre-wired for it. And the Philips system here, that's for a, a camera system. If you've got a camera system on your tow vehicle, on your trailer, on the interior trailer, exterior trailer, you can actually toggle between the truck camera or the tow, the tow vehicle camera. So moving around to this side, this is the other end of the pass-through storage. You'll notice some loose supplies in here, some additional hitch work. We got a reducer, a three inch hitch, a two and five sixteenths inch hitch. We've got a 50 foot air hose that all comes with the Superstar motorhome. And then you step back a little bit, Joe, uh, Jody. You'll notice this, this is another thing that's unique to Newmar. So from right here, all the way to the front here, we've got one big full wall slide. So you don't see, you don't see full wall slide motorhomes in the Super C world. You'll see it on Newmore. Um, again, that's a, that's a electric driven, cogwheel driven, full wall slide out. Okay, moving down the line here, we've got a little dry storage area here, or a place to keep your hoses. Um, excuse me, yeah, it's a place for your fresh water hose, sewage hose, gloves, chemicals, things like that. There's a drain down below there. And then this compartment here is your dump station. So you have an outdoor shower. You do have a retractable, so you walk your city water hose out. And I love the way Newmar does this too. So you got these flap seals located right here. Pop that in place. Now I can close my door easily. And then when it's time to unhook, there's a retractable switch in here. Pull that back in. And then we got a whole house water filtration system located here. Um, you got a drain plug here. If you get any water in here, drain all the water out. This is where your black and your gray water dump to. Um, speaking of water systems, so we are since we're out that area, you've got 150 gallons of fresh water, which is down in the compartment storage down here. 60 gallons of gray water and 40 gallons of black water. And these are electronic gate valves. Those open the gate valves to dump your water systems right down below. And of course, you'll see sewage rents. That sends water into the sewage tank. Make sure the black valves open when you're doing that and that'll flush out the water systems. Eight thousand watt coming zone in generator. That'll power everything on it. This is a fifty amp coach. It does have two fifteen thousand BTU air conditioners, as well as all the electronics with the induction cooktop, the convection microwave oven, the stackable washer dryer, all the outlets, TVs. That'll run everything on it, unless you're plugged in. We got eight. Six volt batteries on a slide tray there. You're gonna see some additional wiring up here that's all gonna be tied into the slide up mechanisms for the slide room. In this compartment, we've got the hydraulics. You notice as I'm coming down the line here, almost each compartment has something in them. 
And this is kind of your, kind of the, the curb side, if you will. Mainly your patio side on the other side had all that extra storage. So the Newmar does a great job with keeping all this equipment now on the driver's side, curb side, allowing more storage on the flip side. This is a hydraulics for the automatic hydraulic leveling system. It also is a hydraulics that operates that step that came in and out earlier that we were opening when I closed the door. Um, the Oasis, uh, this is a hydronic heat system for, uh, for the coach. So in wintertime use, um, the diesel burner and the two electric elements it has will help heat the coach. Um, and it has continuous hot water. Another nice feature about this being down here, um, a lot of your furnaces you'll see like in, in an actual sidewall. So you'll hear, you'll hear that system kicking on and off. It's very residential-like, keeps everything quiet um, on the inside in the living quarters. Okay, now we've got the inverter. So you do have that big white box there on the right side. It is a 2800 watt pure sine wave magnum inverter. And you additionally, you'll see your 50 amp. So similar to that city water hose that I just pulled out, you'll walk this out to plug into your pedestal. And then when it times, comes time to hook up, you've got a power reel here to reel this bad boy in. These cords can get real stiff in the winter time, so it's nice having this retractable uh, power cord. And by the way, that's 50 feet of power cord, so that'll reach just about any pedestal out there on your travels. Additionally, in here, you've got um, the surge guard, um, the transfer switch. That big black box is what transfer power between generator power and when you're plugged in power some cable hookups here and then the power monitor system is going to be located here as well you'll notice as I'm going into each of these compartments too we've got these nice big bright LED lights so if it's dark out you can see what you're getting into here okay once again we've got a lockable Fuel. There's your fifth other 50 gallon fuel tank. There's the diesel exhaust fluid. Again, it's all lockable. It's nice. Um, and then I wanted to point this out. So, Newmar, the air ride seats are very simple to operate. So, this is your air to air it up and down. You'll set it according to your weight preference. And then these little buttons here on the side here are going to be for lumbar you got lower lumbar and upper lumbar it's all using the air system there again these seats will swivel you can lock this in place where you like it and then there's some additional adjustments there on the front <clears throat> okay the front here got this release to pull the hood open so you'll notice the easy access to all the your engine oil the transmission fluid the water separator the fuel filter separator here um, the power steering fluid reservoir is easy to get to belts hoses on the other side we've got the radiator fluid everything's easy to get to and as I'm looking right here, I just want to point this out. So they all the M2106s do come with a CB antenna. They don't come with a CB radio, but they do come with a CB antenna for those that want to install it. That is something we could do for you. Okay. Let's go on inside the check out the uh the interior. I'm gonna go in first. Actually, I'll. If you want to go up front, Jody? I'll run these. Get a shot of of 
the unit with the slides in. So with the slides in, as Jody's making his way up to the front, and you can see it's an easy path just to navigate even with the slide rooms in. If I need to get back to the back and access the bathroom, I can still sneak by here to get into the bathroom. And I'm gonna go ahead and run these slides out so you can see how open it is. So while that's going out, you'll notice uh, I mentioned earlier, this has the glacier glazed maple cabinets with the matte finish. Um, it has the Remy interior package. It is the 4065 bunk bed model. So with the 40, with that, you got, it's a 40, it's 40 feet, 11 inches overall length. And at ride height, it's 13 feet tall. And uh, why don't we start up here? So we'll start up here above the entrance area here. It's a lot of your controls, your inverter controls, your power management systems located here. The Oasis hydronic heat on and off switches and your electric elements are gonna be located in this panel here. The slide controls that I were just operating are located there. Hydraulic leveling system, awning controls, some security lights. There's a master override switch here for the hydraulic leveling system. I can lock and unlock all my compartment doors here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Patio light, block heater, step cover. So I'm gonna hold this down. That's also something unique to Numar. You don't see too often with other brands, but this is actually, I can stand on it. And we've got a little bit of cleanup we gotta do there. Okay, but uh, and then of course your disconnect switch is here as well as your entrance lock and unlock system there as well. And up front we've got we've got some good storage around the front cab area here. So you notice some deep cubby holes. Um, in this cubby you'll notice you've got some contacts from Numar and Freightliner. And then this is the, sh the shades down right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here and run that up. So your shade control switch is gonna be on the dash. But if you've got a nice view of the mountains, um, it's a full moon night, you got a nice bright blue full moon. This gives you a nice big skylight. Let me point that out. That's unique to the new Mars superstars and the Supreme Airs for that matter. Okay, and then in these compartments, we do have some additional storage. And then as we move around to this side here, we've got um, a 50 inch LED television. I'm gonna, there's a switch on the opposite side to run that TV up and down. So that's located right right here. And actually there's another place when we get to the back where you can operate it as well. Um, all your shades, you know, I've got them down right now, but these are the manual MCD day and night shades. And this comes with the um, Euro dinette. So this pulls out, pop this down here. There's a couple of leaves that fit in place here with two folding chairs um, that are going to be stashed under the bed in the back. And then right up above it, we've got the Bose sound bar. Plus we got the, some storage, um, your audio video, HDMI, satellite hookups, DVD hookups are all, it's all pre-wired. Everything's labeled in here for you. Additionally, some things I always like to point out, notice the thickness from here up. So they're keeping the consistency in the insulation from the ceiling to the rooftop, carried into the headers of your slide outs. What does that do for you? In the summertime, you're running the air conditioners. It won't work the airs as hard. Wintertime, 
won't work the furnace as hard. You're watching a ball game or you're watching a movie and it starts pouring down rain outside. You're not cranking up the volume on the TV so you can hear it. It drowns out the sounds. So it's very, very well insulated. And then across from the dinette, we do have the optional, optional Ottomans. I recommend when you store these, maybe down in the compartment storage or under the dinette. These are just little storage ottoman. You get put put things in them, and then of course this is a sleeper sofa. Um, let's see. I say that it's a jackknife. Excuse me, it's a jackknife sofa. And then again, you got some additional storage overhead. All the owner's manuals. These are the privacy shades that go in place to black out the uh, driver and passenger windows plus the windshield up front. These could be dust collectors. Somebody pointed this out to me a long time ago, but they are magnetic. Come off, clean them up, pop them right back in place. Something to point out. Corian countertops. You got a double sink, residential style faucet. Place for a store, uh, trash can, storage down below. A little extension here for additional countertop space. Full extension drawer glides. You get full access to all your drawers. This will be a little smaller drawer because of the sink. And then you notice as I'm closing these drawers, all soft clothes. Here's the other cover for the sink. And there's all the remotes. For each TV comes a remote. For each sound bar comes a remote. This does have a Premier Air mattress in the back. And another thing that's unique to Newmar is the induction cooktop. So as I'm pulling these out, these are cutting boards on the flip side of these covers. This comes out and it's a, simply a unplug, take it outside, go cook your fish outdoors, keep the odors down. And then for cleanup in here, pull it all the way out and plug this back in here. Uh, it's hard to see back there, there we go. Okay. Helps if you get the cord out of the way. There we go. And we got a convection microwave oven. Additional overhead storage. And your um in, in this cabinet you'll notice some stickers in here. This actually gives you the serial number for this coach, the, this coach number. So for the, the owner of this coach can contact Newmar and the actual serial number is in this cabinet. So if they need to reference anything from the serial number, it's easy access for the owner when they're traveling. Okay, across from kitchen area, we've got the refrigerator, Whirlpool, 19.7 uh, cubic foot refrigerator. Freezer down below, ice maker here. And this little mechanism here is from Newmar, so they put that on there so you can lock it. Oops, probably go the other direction with that. It needs to be adjusted. And then up top, you got some nice big storage overhead or above the refrigerator. 
And then you do have some pull, these are push to release. We've got another smart idea from Newmar so they don't go flying open when you make a hard left turn. As you pull on those, they will not come out. Push to release. We do have a pocket door to close off the living area from the bunk area. And as we get to the bunk area, we do have a dedicated cabinet, wardrobe storage, some additional push to release drawers down below. And we've got the ladder here that attaches here to get to the top bunk bed. Um, this came, this comes with the optional bunk bed TVs. So there's one down below as well as one above. And then each one of the bunks has its own window and day and night shade. Plus it's got a night light as well as a reading light. And as we make our way over to this side, so this is something new for 2023. So we've got, uh, if I hit the home screen here, I can see where my battery levels are at for the house and the chassis, see where my holding tanks are. Again, 150 fresh, 60 gray, 40 black. Um, my generator controls are gonna be located here as well. HVAC, heat and air. Lights on the far right, this little thing right here is a Bluetooth. You can pair an Android or an iPhone. Um, it's got Google Play and the, uh, the app, Apple App Store available to pair your phone to this device. And each system you see here appears on your mobile device. And then in this room here, we've got the master bath. Um, nice big shower. Again, I'm, I'm six foot two. I've got plenty of headroom. I could be a little taller if I wanted to, and I still got some good room. Plus, you do have the adjustable shower head here. You've got the overhead here and then a the handheld one. Um, this comes with an aquamizer. So this system here will, if you dry camp a lot, you can recirculate your water so you're not wasting any of your 150 gallons of fresh water. This will change colors, letting you know when you're, it's ready, and it gives you some instant hot water. You'll notice the teak seat in there. Love the marble design walls in the shower. Uh, in this room also, you uh, down below you'll see a vent. So in the winter time, you got heat blowing out down below. And right now I feel some great cool air coming out because it is a warmer day out. And then you've got medicine cabinet storage there you got this device here so this is your Wi-Fi router um, that little code there that's how you connect to the Wi-Fi or set up your Wi-Fi and in this cabinet I always like to point out so if your slides are all in you got power issues you need to get to the breaker box there it is everything's nicely labeled um, your fuse panel is all going to be located on this side and then you've got this little index, if you will, or right here showing you what, what each um, fuse is associated to. Again, it's out of the way for children to get to. And if your slides are in, you can still get to it. No problem with the slides in. You're not having to crawl up underneath a bed to get to it and twist and turn and mess up your back. <laughs> Another pocket door located here to separate the master bedroom from the bunk bedroom. And I didn't point this out, but it does have an additional pocket door here. As we're moving to the back here, um, I mentioned to you earlier, we've got 150 gallons of fresh water down in the compartment storage. What does that do? It frees up some storage because a lot of your other brands out there do put the water tanks here. Um, this gives you some great storage. There's those two extent, uh, extra leaves, table leaves, plus the two folding chairs to join the dinette. 
Um, another thing I always like to point out, so if you notice, these beds are not crammed up against the wall over here. If I'm making my bed and I'm putting my sheets on, I can get around the bed on both sides. You leave a nice, nice enough room on both sides to, to be able to make your bed. And then above, above the bed, we got some nice storage. There's some access ports on both sides of the bed. If you want to run any, say, sleeping, maybe you have a CPAP machine, you can actually plug it in here, run, the, run these lines out below. <clears throat> or if you're using it for anything else, charge lines, additional charging lines. Um, speaking of that, you do have some USB ports on both sides of the bed as well as an electrical 110 outlet and a little cabinet there to put your small items out of the way a bottle of water wallet keys purse and you have them on both sides flip this so there's a little locking device here we'll flip this up a good shot of the wardrobe storage in the back Oh yeah, and you probably saw the safe there, so this does have the optional safe. Yes, uh, five drawers below, and they're deep drawers too. You notice the depth is here, so you get almost a full depth of that closet in the drawer. And five of those located there. Another nice big drawer below the stackable washer and dryer. And then across from the king size bed, speaking of king size bed, that is a true residential king size bed. So traditional king size sheets, comforter. If you want to add additional bed spread cover, you can. It's a true residential king bed. We got the 43 inch Samsung Smart TV for the bedroom. Uh, similar to the li living room setup, we've got HDMI plugs back here as well if you want to add a receiver back here for satellite use or game system blu-ray player anything like that it's already pre-wired for it and then we have six nice big drawers down below here And I did mention the washer dryer. Yep. Um, and we got up above here, you notice these, the ceiling plenum. So these are some decorative ceiling plenums, but you'll notice how they're vented right here. So the air conditioners on a Numar, not just a Superstar, but any Numar for that matter, run right down the middle of the coach. And if I pop this down, you get a shot of that, you can see your return vents. So you can pop these out like so. And clean my filter, pop it back in place. Oops. And your, these are your returns and these are where the air comes out. And of course, these are these nice little decorative panels to drop the air where you want it. There's some other brands out there that'll put the air conditioner dropping the air right on top of a slide out. So I don't know how much good that does when it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> All right, let's go up front and uh, show you some of the cab features. Okay. So, I mentioned to you earlier that this does have uh, the 10 inch monitor here for the bird's eye view camera system there. So there's kind of an image of the rooftop and you can see all the way around a little distorted image because it's stitching those camera views together. So you're getting a shot of the slides out. Um, but there's a backup camera and there's different views too. You can view the front, um, the, the left and the right or the rear along with the 360 camera view and you'll see all the other systems here we got the radio so we got um, 
high def AM FM uh, radio system there we also have blue you can Bluetooth your phone to this Apple CarPlay is something else that was new for 2023 that's where you would plug into these USB ports on this side and that'll display uh, Apple CarPlay I believe as well as Android Auto <clears throat> little 12 volt outlet there you can um, dump the air on the suspension so you can do a suspension drop if you need to lower the coach a little bit maybe you have a clearance issue getting it into a shop you can use this to lower the suspension on the coach there's the switch that I was raising and lowering the shade earlier um, I'll, let me go back to the camera. So if I go into this camera view here, I believe that's where I can toggle. Yeah, so these are the different views where I can view the right side and the bird's eye view, front side and the bird's eye view. Some different camera angles, if you will. Put it back to the normal there. And then we've got a light test feature. This button here with the blue border around it. Kind of handy though, if for the owner of this coach, if you want to check all your lights on the exterior of the coach, simply activate that. It will run through a sequence of lights turning, flashing on and off so you can see what's working and of course what's not working. Down below here, we've got a regen uh, system there. If, the, if it's a hot day and you're, you're not getting a lot of airflow, um, it, the, the dash cluster up here will call for a regen. You can manually burn off the diesel particulates by holding this switch down here. <clears throat> you got a house battery and a chassis battery merge button there. Generator controls, docking lights, cab lights, lock and unlock. Uh, these are your window controls. This is the parking brake. That's what sets it in park. Six-speed Allison transmission. Um, this is going to be your engine brake on and off. I'll turn this on here. You notice that light, that light disappears in the down position. The light comes on in the up position. And then I got a low, a medium, and a high for the engine brake. Um, marker light that's a little flashes your lights on the front. Over here on the left side, we do have some speed controls on and off. More or less, that's cruise control on and off. Accelerate, decelerate, set, coast. And then these are your dimmer switches for the dash cluster. <clears throat> that pretty much covers most of this coat, I believe. <laughs> uh, let me look and see. So we got, it's 2023, 4065 Superstar. If there's something I may have missed, and uh, you guys feel free to reach out anytime. Uh, again, my name is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Uh, you should see my information down below here at grussell at transwest.com or you can reach me on my cell phone at 720-539-4711. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. I'm out.